Hello everyone, this is Rachel of Monk and Marple. Today I have a lovely sticker haul for you in which I showcase Sadie stickers, Jack's and Pepper, Crafts by Atawi, Two Low Bees, Paper Muse Crafts, The Sticky Station, and White Deer Stationery. So if that sounds like a fun time to you, then just keep on watching. So it's a cold, rainy day here in LA. Yes, it does happen sometimes. It's not always warm and sunny all the time. So I've got my cozy sweater on, I've got my pumpkin spice candle, and I've got my warm, yummy coffee, and my two sweet fur babies snuggling on the bed. And it's just the perfect time to play with some stickers. Okay, so let's first start off with Sadie stickers. This order was a $2 Tuesday. We've got our present deco sticker sheet. So as you can probably see, um, when you buy a gold foiled sticker on her premium matte sticker paper, her gold foil is actually matte. It's not as shiny as a traditional gold foil. So that is something that is really cool and very unique to her shop. So this sheet has 20 different stickers. Each one is different and um, that gives you a good variety of stickers. None of them are repeating and I think that's really cool. So I always, always like to get my stickers in all three foil colors. So I have gold, silver, and rose gold. And I think by far my favorite sticker has got to be this cute one with the cute little polka dots. Definitely my fave. Okay. Next up, we have some clear stickers. So um, Sadie's stickers clear paper is glossy, as you can see. And so this is her, um, her shiny gold foil compared to, not the right color, compared to the matte. So you can see here how um, the gold foil on the clear sticker paper is shinier than it is on the premium matte sticker paper. So this sheet has six different designs and some of these stickers are mirrored to give a good variety. I think this mistletoe branch is so super cute. And again I have rose gold silver, I'm sorry, traditional gold, <laughs> silver, and then rose gold. Here it is, and you can see just how cool and pretty it is, the way the foil reflects off the sheet when you hold it a, a specific way, like that. Really, really cool. I think it looks best on the gold foil. But yep, yeah. okay, so there we have the winter bouquet branches. Next we have the winter bouquet dividers. This has three different styles. I think that this middle style here would be perfect to cut in half. Um, it's just a good shape for that. And you can see we have these cute little pine cones, we have some berries, we have these beautiful pine branches, some twigs, different twig styles, and this almost looks like deer antlers to me, so that's super cute. Here's the gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay. Now we have the Winter Bouquet Bundles. This one has three different styles. I think these stickers would be great to decorate corners of boxes. Just kinda, you know, stick this up in the, in the corner. Kind of like this. 
that would be super cute. You could also um, cut these up is a good shape for that. So you could cut it in half, you know, this way, and then use those pieces to decorate different parts of your spread. I absolutely love in this design how these holly leaves are outlined. I think that's just so pretty. I love the shape of it. So we have gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay, next we have the Pine Divider 3. So I loved this design because I just love the simplicity of it. Um, I think it's really nice how it's just a line and then these cute little pine branches coming out from the side. So I think these would be great to use um, to maybe decorate a header or put at the bottom of a box or maybe you could even put these underneath some florals so that these pine little branches kind of stick out from the sides. I think that'd be really nice and really cute. So here's the gold. Silver and rose gold. Okay, so next up we have our floral deco sheets. So I'm going to pull these out and put them side by side because these are very similar, but they're not quite the same. Each sheet has a difference in tone in the colors, but I love these sheets because the um, the kind of traditional pastel pink and white florals and then the green leaves, these will be very easy to use in a variety of sticker kits because um, more, you know, like the light lightly colored florals are just easy to match with other kits. They're unassuming, there's nothing really too bold about them. And so they would just be really nice to decorate the background of a spread and just add some, you know, more pretty, romantic, gentle decoration. So this is Floral Deco 1, Floral Deco 2. This one is a bit more warm in tone. It's more yellow and orange. And then Floral Deco 5, definitely more pastel, more muted, and really, really easy to pull into other spreads. Okay, so this is Floral Deco 6. I really liked these florals because they are darker in tone and I thought that would be really nice for fall. Um, this large sticker up here, I am definitely going to just cut it in half and use it to decorate my date covers. I think that would look really beautiful. Um, I love these cute hydrangeas. They look like hydrangeas to me anyway. <laughs> I just think they're so, so cute and pretty and fluffy. And it's just a really nice deco sheet overall with, you know, the more purple tones. I think that's really cool. Okay, so I bought two of the Floral Deco 3, and I did that on purpose because this actually matches the sticker kit by Nikki Plus 3 called Golden Peach. So I knew that these would match, and I went ahead and um, got more deco sheets because this kit doesn't really come with a lot of florals. This is pretty much all the florals that you have to choose from. And for me personally, that's not enough. I want to use as many florals as I possibly can when I decorate my spread. So yeah, I got two of these and I'm very excited that I did that. Um, I think it's super fun to browse the floral deco sheets in different shops to see if they match a kit that you already have. So that's what I did here and it worked out for me.
Okay, and finally we have Floral Deco 17. I bought two of these as well because um, these the design is so traditional Christmas with the traditional red, green, and white colors, the holly branches, the berries, and I just felt like this would be really easy to use and match with other Christmas kits. I absolutely love this holly branch here. I love the shape of it. And I thought these little berry branches were so incredibly cute. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so next up we have Jacks and Pepper. This is Rachel of Gathered Plans freebie. This one is in silver. I can't remember if they come in different foil colors. I'm pretty sure silver is the only foil color that I have gotten. So silver might be the only one, but I am not 100% sure. So don't quote me on that. And then this is another freebie that they have been giving out. Um, I don't know how often they change up their florals on their freebies. So far, this is the only one I've gotten, so I have quite a few of these by now. <laughs> but um, I do think these magic kit that I have, I can't remember which kit it is, but I think I can use these in another kit, so I'm not complaining. That's fine with me. Okay, so this is another $2 Tuesday, and this release was obviously Christmas themed. So these are the Snowflake Borders 1.0. I did get these in all three foil colors. So this is the gold, silver, and rose gold that they offer in their shop. Classic traditional foil colors. I love the different types of snowflake uh, styles that they were able to include on these stickers. I love how they're just kind of randomly organized, <laughs> random organization. Um, the detail in each snowflake is really, really nice. And uh, the shape overall is just the perfect, perfect shape to decorate a date cover or uh, decorate the top of a full box. Um, you could you know, layer stickers behind it. You could layer some florals in front, really just whatever you want to do. And I really appreciate how there is this line, the solid line underneath. Um, I think that's just a really nice addition to this type of border. Absolutely beautiful in the silver. I think snowflakes look best in silver. And then I did get the rose gold. Um, I don't have any actual Christmas, 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 Christmas kits that are rose gold foiled, but I do have some kits that are just general winter themed um, that are in rose gold. So I will be able to use these in those kits. Okay, here we have their ornaments. I think this is probably <laughs> the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is so freaking cute. I love how large they are and how they just dangle down. They're just hanging there, living their best life, and I love it so much. There's these cute little sparkles all around that adds just even more sparkle and a nice little touch, I guess. Um, they have different types of ornaments, which I think is super cool. We have a candy, traditional um, circle ornament, this looks like a house or something maybe, another traditional ornament, and then um, a candy cane. And these cute little squiggles at the top holding it all together. I think this is just adorable. If you look up closely, you can see that it's not a solid line, it's actually dots. So I think that is just such a great design. It's so unique and it's so detailed and they did a great job with these stickers. So here's the gold. See if you can, or if I can catch the, yeah, there we go. You can see the gold pretty well there. Here's the sticker, I mean the um, silver. <laughs> Sorry, it's still morning here and I'm still waking up. Hence why I'm drinking my coffee. 
and then the rose gold. Okay, so lastly, I have these winter houses. I love these so incredibly much. This might be my favorite uh, Christmas theme sticker I've gotten out of all of my hauls. It's not focusing, there we go. Um, yeah, these, these are just so cool. <laughs> They're unique, I haven't seen any other shop um, sell something like this. It's just a beautiful, wintry, Christmassy scene in your neighborhood. <laughs> and I just love it so much. The We have snowflakes coming down because it's snowing. We have a cute little snowman there in the middle. Um, I love the way that the smoke from the chimneys are, you know, kind of like little wispies. The Christmas trees, the way, you know, how incredibly detailed and dainty the windows are on these houses. It's just so adorable. Uh, this is a great job on the printing. <laughs> they must have a really good laser printer. The foiling is perfect. Um, yeah, it's it's just a great quality sticker and a great design. And it's so, so adorable. I don't know what else to say. So this is it in bold. Silver, so beautiful in silver. And rose gold. Okay, and that is it for Jackson Pepper. Okay, so next up we have Crafts by Towie. So I wanted to show you the freebies first. This is her just general shop freebie and this does come in different foil colors. Um, so far I have this in gold and silver, but this is a, actually a really great freebie because these just simple scalloped boxes and the simple scalloped um, line or divider are just so easy to use in your spreads. You can use them for anything. They would match anything. This heart is super cute. Um, so this is a really good and very functional freebie. You don't have to worry about having any florals that need to match something in particular. You can literally just use this with any kit that is gold foil or silver foil if you get that one or rose gold. I've never gotten a rose gold. I don't know if she offers the rose gold, but I don't see why she wouldn't. So that's that. And then we also have this freebie, <laughs> it's another freebie, uh, with uh, Rachel from Gathered Plans. Um, this is so, so cute and very Rachel. I do watch Rachel's YouTube channel, so I know for a fact that she goes to Starbucks quite often. Um, she works out all the time, good for her, kudos. Uh, you're an inspiration to all of us. Um, her cute little, this is like a, what is this called? It's like an Instagram story or Instagram post. And this is designed after, I think, an actual photo that Rachel took of her desk. So that's super, super cool. Um, the TV console. I know that Rachel likes to watch Netflix and, you know, different TV shows and movies. And she's got some good recommendations on things to watch. So there's that. She loves to use these flourishes and the way that Rachel uses flourishes in her spreads are really, really pretty. She uses them in a great way. Um, so you should definitely check her out and see how she decorates her spreads because she does a great, great job. Um, cute heart balloons, the sticker sheets, great phone uh, for like post to Instagram or whatever. I actually just ordered a whole sheet of that phone sticker. So yeah, that's her freebie for if you spend over $25 on your order. Okay, so here I have her fall 2021 icons. I actually got two of each in each foil color because I loved these stickers so much. And um, I'm assuming they're limited edition since it says fall 2021 icons. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough to last me for all of my 2021 fall spreads. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of fall kits. So um, I will definitely be using these. 
So let's take a look. Oh, so, so cute, so fall, so traditional fall. I love it so, so much. This bushel of apples is so incredibly adorable. Um, the garden link, gardening gloves, pumpkins in a barrel, campfire, pumpkin spice lattes, a pie. Oh, this quilted vest. I have two of those in my closet. So, so cute. This, um, it's like a, what is this, plaid? <laughs> Pattern scarf that looks exactly like a scarf that I own. These wellies, the way this acorn is designed, the different leaves, the pumpkins. It's just so warm and cozy and I feel warm and cozy just looking at this sheet. So this, oh, and this turkey, I didn't even see that one. Turkey with grapes, <laughs> probably not. Um, but yeah, perfect sticker for Thanksgiving, right? Oh, and pumpkin pie. I've The more I look at this, the more I notice all the different uh, cute designs that are on here, though I've looked at this sticker sheet so many times, just drooling over it. But yeah, there's just so, so many different details to notice on this sheet. And we have, how many different stickers do we have? So at least 23 different types of stickers on here. That's awesome, that's a lot for one sheet this jar of honey or jam or whatever you want it to be. It's just so, so great. S cutest designs ever and um, unique. And I'm so, so happy that I got two of these in each foil color because I just love these designs so very much. So I'm gonna hold up all three different foil colors next to each other. Very traditional gold, silver, and rose gold foiling. So, so cute, I can't wait, love these so much. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into my very large stack of $2 Tuesdays. This is the warm mug. So I almost opened an Etsy shop where I sold mug cozies that looked exactly like this. I had learned how to knit au crochet back then and I was completely obsessed with making these mug cozies. I've made so many different types and designs of mug cozies um, and they're all really cute, I love them, but at the end, I did not open my shop because my husband reminded me of how much work it takes to make just one mug cozy. And yes, making mug cozies are fun, but do you want to be making cozies every second of every day? Just to make sure that you have enough in your shop? And my answer was no, I don't, so. <laughs> I still use them, I still love them, but as soon as I saw this sticker, I immediately thought of my old Etsy shop that, not, that did not come to fruition and um, it gave me warm, happy memories. So here it is in the gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay, here are her gardening icons. I am a gardener. I currently, since I live in an apartment, I can only container garden, but I really enjoy container gardening. Um, I love getting my hands in the dirt, playing with flowers, different plants, taking care of them like they're my little babies because they are my little babies. I love them so much. So I just thought that this cute leaf design on the watering can was nice. You have your spade and your, I don't know what that's called. It's like a pitchfork, but it's teeny tiny. If you know, is it a trowel? Maybe. Let me know if you know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, just a nice simple design. It's obvious what it is trying to relay, which is gardening. And um, yeah, great sticker for marking when I go and work in my little container garden on my porch. Okay, so here we have her plants sticker sheet. This is very impressive to me. So first of all, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different types of potted plants here. All of them are very well loved, 
house plants. They're very common, which I really appreciate because I have these plants. I do have these plants. And so I just love being able to see something that really relates to me and my personal life in these stickers. It just makes it feel more personal and more special. So another thing that I wanted to note about these stickers is the incredible detail that these stickers have. And this shows how great of a quality of shop that she has, the quality of stickers, the quality of her laser printer. This is so intricate. The lines are so small and dainty, and it takes a really good laser printer to be able to print something so clearly like that. And then it takes great foil and a great foiling machine to be able to foil these teeny tiny lines properly. That's difficult to do. Foil is very finicky. Um, it messes up more than it doesn't mess up, believe it or not. <laughs> That's why when you buy oops bags from shops, there's a lot of foiled stickers where you notice the black spots and stuff like that because even just the smallest, teeniest, tiniest speck of dust, fuzz, anything like that will cause a black spot. And even sometimes the foil just messes up when there's nothing wrong with the sheet. There's no dust or fuzz or anything on the sheet. The foil just doesn't feel like cooperating and that happens all the time. So to be able to produce a sticker sheet like this with such intricate detail is very, very impressive. So that is something that really should be noted about um, this sticker sheet and the Crafts by Towie stickers in general and her icons, very high quality. So anyways, thank you for listening to my TED talk about that. <laughs> but it's good for people to know, um, people who don't have never, you know, like tried to make foiled stickers or cut stickers or anything like that, um, there's a lot that goes into it. A lot can go wrong. It's very frustrating. So when you see a shop that makes something so good, it really should be noted and really should be appreciated. Again, thank you for my second TikTok. Okay, so here's another thing that I want to show you with this particular sticker sheet. This is a great example sheet to show you things. So you'll notice how here on the gold, there's less detail than here on the silver. That's because this is something that's very common with gold foil, something I do with myself. But sometimes the gold foil will overfoil. And that what that means is that more foil, more of the actual sheet of foil sticks to the sticker than it should. So I don't really know how else to explain that. <laughs> but, I, so I bring this up because I think it was on YouTube or something like that. Um, someone said that a good way to fix this overfoiling here is to use a sticky note. And we're gonna try this here as a little experiment because I've never tried this before. But they said that if you just use a sticky note and put it on top of where it's overfoiled, then the overfoiling should peel off. And it worked. Oh, that worked. That worked so well. I'm, <laughs> that's so cool. It really, really worked. There's a little bit more overfoiling. We can probably just do it again and see how that, yes, it worked perfectly. How cool is that? Thank you so much, whoever said this on YouTube. I have no clue who it was. I really wish I did now. I might actually go look it up um, and see who said that because that is such a great tip. My whole life, I've been just trying to rub off <laughs> the uh, overfoil, which does work, but <laughs> it's, you know, a bit more messy. Sometimes it can come off on your finger. Sometimes it just makes the sheet look kind of dirty if the if your little foil dust sticks to the rest of the sheet. So that trick with the uh, sticky note, awesome, perfection. Thank you so much. That is so cool. I'm so excited 
that I have now learned that trick. Okay, next we have her Volume 10 Starbucks drinks. She came out with these recently and when I saw them, I squealed with delight because um, I order Starbucks literally all the time. It's, I have two, two Starbucks that are just across the street from where I live. Um, so it's just, it's too tempting for me to just take a nice quick walk, get some fresh air, um, and pop into Starbucks and grab a nice refreshing drink or a nice cozy warm drink as I would have um, done today, but I made my own coffee. So, Anyways, um, I love how there's all different types of Starbucks, Starbucks drinks on here. We have the iced drinks, plain ones, iced drinks with the bows, warm drinks or hot drinks, and then hot drinks with the bows. So you have a sticker for pretty much any Starbucks situation that you're in, and that's awesome. So I got, again, I got two of each um, foil color because I knew I would be using these quite often. So here is the gold, silver, and rose gold. And yeah, if you don't have these yet and you're a fan of Starbucks, go ahead and pick these up. Okay, so here we have her meal prep stickers. All three foil colors here. So this sheet has two different styles of stickers as you can see. We have an actual meal prep sticker with the cute, it looks like onions on the cutting board and a knife. And then we have these um, food containers. So, um, pretty simple, straightforward <laughs> meal prep stickers. The bows are super cute um, and just a cute little way to mark something so mundane as prepping meals and putting away your food. Okay, next I have her house stickers. I really, really like these house stickers in particular. Other shops uh, sell house stickers, but um, going back to when I was talking about detail and how great detail is for uh, Crafts by Taui stickers, these houses are very detailed and they do have the tiny lines that I was talking about before and that I love. Uh, this is a very realistic house. Um, it's not just a house doodle, it, it's an actual house. And um, I love how there's two different types of houses. There's a house that's kind of filled in with foil and then there's a house outline here. So depending on how much foil you want on your particular spread, you have a variety in what you can choose. You have options. You can choose a more foiled house or you can choose a less foiled house. Oh, and <laughs> I forgot to say, well, the whole the whole reason I, I got these house stickers in the first place is because um, we are house hunting. So uh, we're having a lot of house tours to go to and things like that. So I just thought that um, these really adorable house stickers would be a lovely way to mark all of the house tours that we are going to. So continuing on with the with the theme of houses, these are fixing tools. Super duper cute. I love this toolbox with all the different tools in it. Um, and then also the hammer and wrench and the little screw there. It's so minimal, but decorative at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm figuring once we do finally buy a house, we will have plenty of um, projects. We will have plenty of projects that we will need to do around the house. So I thought that these uh, really cute house tools, house fixing tools, tool kit, toolbox, uh, would just be perfect. I love this cute little heart on the toolbox as well. Uh, that's a nice little detail just to make the toolbox even more special and even more unique and cute. Okay, so this is the travel sampler sheet in her shop. I thought this was a great sheet to have just a general sampler of different styles of stickers that go along with a travel theme. 
A lot of these particular stickers you don't necessarily need an entire sticker sheet for. So having a nice little sampler sheet like this is perfect because you only have one or two of each sticker and um, a lot of times that is really all you need in an entire year. Unless you travel a ton, then you can order the individual stickers, um, which you will see that I did in a little bit. But, uh, so something like a cruise, I wouldn't go on a cruise more than once a year, if that. <laughs> in fact, I've only gone on one cruise in my entire life, and that was seven years ago, eight, nine, ten years ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have our cute cruise ship, palm tree, playing cards, airplane, there's two of those, so that's good. Airplane going across the world, ice cream, passport, another airplane, luggage, camera, as a maps, um, Google Maps icon, more luggage, another around the world, and a cute little car. Here is the gold, silver, and rose gold. So then I did buy individual full sheets of the luggage icon um, because I feel like a luggage icon is definitely more useful than some of the others. Like if you're just packing for a one night stay somewhere else, just a simple luggage icon would be perfect for that. I like how there's an actual suitcase and a little duffel bag. And the duffel bag has this really adorable teeny tiny heart on it. This is the uh, gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay, so these are the workout icons that are the same ones that are on Rachel's freebie here. There's something about this particular workout icon that I loved so much. I think it's the fact that it has all the workout elements. So it has the workout top and bottom, the water bottle and the dumbbells. And I haven't seen any other stickers in any other shops that are quite like this. I usually don't like workout stickers because they're just, they're not really cutesy and dainty enough for my liking, but um, just the way that this entire sticker is designed and laid out, I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So while I don't work out very often, I'm hoping that now that I have these stickers, it'll encourage me to work out more just so that I can use these stickers in my weekly spread. So we'll see how that goes. Again, the foiling and print job is so good. These tops have teeny tiny little lines here that are the straps and it just foiled perfectly. Okay, here are her volume one nail polish icons. She does have a, I think it's volume two nail polish icons. Um, the difference is volume two has a little drip of polish coming off of the brush. I personally don't like that. I think it gives me a little bit of anxiety seeing the polish dripping off the brush like that. So I much prefer volume one nail polish. It's nice and clean. There's no drips happening. Um, but it's still very clearly a nail polish bottle. The bow on the sides adds an extra layer of adorableness and also the cute little heart in the middle of the nail polish bottle. It's a great size, not too big, not too small, just a very cute way to mark when you're getting your nails done or when you're doing them yourself. Okay, so this paint palette is part of her back to school um, sticker sheet and I don't have any kids or anything like that. I'm not in school myself, but I am a watercolorist and I like to uh, paint florals and things like that all the time. So I saw this paint palette sticker. I have, um, I don't think I've ever seen a paint palette foiled icon like this. And I think it's just perfect. The shape of the paint palette, um, the design of the paint brush, it's also perfect, very realistic. It looks just like my paint palette and the fact that there's a bow added to it really just makes the sticker. It's a beautiful, cute, 
and very accurate design. So I can't wait to use these stickers to mark when I have been painting. Okay, so this is her Volume 9 foil machine icon. This is part of the shop owner sticker sheet. I am a shop owner, so I do have um, other stickers from her shop owner sticker sheet, um, but I got more of these mink foiling machine icons in particular because I am foiling a lot, a lot more than I used to. So um, this design is absolutely adorable. The mink machine is so incredibly accurate. She obviously uses mink <laughs> machines to foil her stickers. It looks exactly like that. And these little baskets with the foil rows, uh, foil, um, what are they? The rolls of foil, so cute. I love anything that's in a basket. I do wish that my <laughs> rolls of foil were nice and um, organized in a basket like that in real life. Unfortunately, they are not neatly organized in a cute basket like this. They are thrown in my closet haphazardly. There's all different uh, sizes of rolls. Some of them are foil sheets and um, they definitely do not look like this, but this is goals. This is foil organization goals. So super cute sticker and the perfect way to mark when you have been foiling your stickers or literally anything. Okay, this is a favorite icon of mine, the Happy Mail. Best type of sticker there is. Um, there's a ton of Happy Mail stickers out there in the icon world, but the style and design of this sticker is so, so perfect to me because everything about it is so cute and decorative. It's an opened envelope with a scallop edge, a bow on it, and then sticker sheets coming out. It doesn't get better than that. This is just the perfect picture of the best Happy Mail there is. So yes, this Happy Mail icon is um, my favorite out of all of the icons <laughs> that I have seen. It's just perfect and so cute and makes me excited just looking at it. And lastly, we have her washi icons. I am a big collector of washi. I love washi and just all the different designs that um, you can get. And my favorite washi shop is Simply Gilded. I'm sure that most of you have heard of Simply Gilded. Um, she just has great quality washi and so many different designs. Um, so, and she comes out with new designs so incredibly often. So um, I just wanted these cute washi stickers to mark mainly when I get washies in the mail or if I'm organizing my washies or just admiring them or, you know, something like that. Okay, so we are almost done with Crafts by Towie, but not quite. I have these larger lace uh, sampler sheets. And I decided to get these sampler sheets um, because I don't, I don't need like a ton of like lace boxes like this. In fact, her kits do come with a lot of these um, lace designs, lace boxes and circles and whatnot. Um, but I just wanted a few extra if I wanted to use these lace designs in other kits that are not by Crafts by Towie, um, I could her her lace design is my favorite lace design that I have seen. Um, it, I think it's just so beautiful the way the lace has been designed. So, and on a sampler sheet, obviously you get samples of different types of lace. So we have like these um, labels, half circles full circles that are teeny tiny and super cute, uh, corner laces, and then these lace dividers down here. So I already have these in gold. So I went back and ordered the silver, the rose gold, and actually hollow. I do have some hollow kits. I don't have a lot, um, 
But I, I just thought that this lace in the hollow looked so cool. So I definitely want to use this instead of my hollow kits. And then lastly, I have this Vines Frames sh uh, sticker sheet. This matches her Plant Mom kit. So this kit is not part of the haul, <laughs> um, but I I saw these uh, Vine Frames after I ordered the kit. So I went back and ordered these frames as well, um, just because there's not there's not like a whole lot of deco that comes in this kit. We have this and then like this here and that's pretty much it. Um, so I wanted more vines to use in the kit. And um, remember how I was talking about how fun it is to shop florals and other sticker shops to see if they would match a kit that you have? Well, a kit like Plant Mom is really, really easy to find deco florals that will, well not florals, but deco sheets that would um, match this kit because it's just green plants. And on this uh, page with the full boxes, there are a lot of different types of leaves. So it's really easy to find just simple green leaves in sticker shops. I know that Letters to Apollo has um, some really good green leaf deco sheets. I can't think of any other shops at the top of my head that has it, but they're pretty easy to find. And so a kit like this, that's just pretty basic um, in terms of like, just having a variety of leaves and things like that. There's no specific florals that you feel like you need to match. It's just these beautiful green leaves. And so, um, yeah, something like this would be really easy to match a deco sheet with. Okay, so that is it for Crafts by Towie. Okay, so next shop is Two Little Bees. Um, I am not afraid to make the statement that Two Little Bees is my favorite shop, especially for her kits. Um, her kits are always so uniquely designed. They're not like any other sticker kits I've ever seen. She is often updating the format of her kits. Um, sh she's really good with keeping up with the trends and she also starts some trends. So um, it's always exciting to see what she's gonna come up with next. It's usually different and it really keeps it fresh and exciting and new. Her quality is always really, really good. Um, her foiling is great. The print quality is great. The quality of the sticker sheet is really great. Very nice and soft and buttery. Um, running my hand across this sticker sheet. You can't even feel where the cut lines are. It is just so nice and smooth. And Maria, the shop owner of Two Little Bees, is a very sweet person in real life. I did have to email her about something and um, she was so incredibly sweet in her email back to me. And um, it was a really great experience, very good. Uh, customer service experience and very professional and um, I always appreciate when a shop owner is nice, professional, polite and provides really good customer service because they don't always do that. But Maria does. So kudos to Maria. <laughs> okay, so for this order I requested Lauren's freebie. Um, Two Little Bees just started doing PR Girls Freebies. I don't know if Lauren is uh, does PR specifically, but she does use Tula Bee's kits pretty often. And um, so this is the second freebie that Lauren has had with Tula Bee's. This matches the Hazel kit that Two Little Bees released and Lauren's previous freebie matched the Evermore sticker kit. So it's really cute. Tay of Shantae Plans has a freebie with Two Little Bees as well. And if you just ask for Tay's freebie, T-A-Y, um, 
Maria will know who you're talking about. You, or you could also ask for Shantae's freebie and she would know who you were talking about. So I don't have an example of Tay's freebie at the moment. Um, I think I did request Tay's freebie in my most recent order to two little bees that I don't have yet. So I will sh definitely be showing that to you in the future. Okay, so I'd like to start off with the Evergreen kit. I think this kit is absolutely beautiful. It can be used for any time of the year. It does have a hint of fall theme to it, um, specifically with this outfit here. But um, other than that, it's pretty much uh, a kit that you could use any time of the year. It doesn't have to be a specific season. So. Let's start with the first page with the full boxes. Um, these florals are really, really beautiful. A nice detailed and crisp floral design. Very pastel white florals with these beautiful greens. It looks like there's these are some eucalyptus leaves and something else. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what type of leaf that is. This looks like a fern or something like that. Um, so it's very mild in terms of tone. It's not super bold. It's just really nice and muted and soft and romantic. Um, it's also book themed, which I love because I myself am an avid reader. So anything that is book related, I absolutely love. Also, this reading list really speaks to me. I'm the ultimate list maker and um, I'm obsessed with collecting different notepads and list pads and things like this. If I could have a notepad that looks just like this in real life, I would absolutely love it. Um, I mentioned this outfit, outfit before, but this is definitely the type of outfit that I would wear. It's nice and casual and comfy, and that is how I prefer to dress myself. I don't wear, you know, fancy heels and dresses or things like that. I'm definitely more of a casual, chill person, so I absolutely love this outfit and I want to wear it. Uh, this typewriter, Super, super cute. The um, the floral pattern here that matches the rest of the kit is such a nice little detail. And this foiled butterfly sitting on it, it's so incredibly cute. And um, this is an awesome, awesome quote. Your life is your story, write well, edit often. So inspirational. I like the message that it is trying to give, and I think it's something that we should all try to remember in our own lives. So something that I wanted to point out is that these florals actually um, match florals from two other shops that I shop from. So these are the florals from Paper Trail Plans. We have this floral sheet and then this washi, and these perfectly match the florals in this kit. So this kit does have lots of good florals just in the kit by itself. But if you wanted even more florals, in addition to all of the florals that you could buy just simply from two little bees, you also can buy the same florals from Paper Trail Plants and also Letters to Apollo. The same florals and the colors match perfectly. The tone hasn't been changed. So I love it when this happens, when I have literally all, <laughs> all the florals in the world that I could choose from to use in my kit because I love using florals. I'm very heavy when it comes to the usage of florals in my spreads. So I just thought this was so super cool when I discovered that all of these florals are the same florals. And speaking of finding matching florals in other shops, I noticed when I was looking through my Letters to Apollo uh, deco sheets, I noticed that this might match my plant mom. Let's see. It could, these 
are a little darker, but it might work. So anyways, this is what I was talking about when it's easy to find just a general leaf bouquets and things like that from other shops. I do think that I would be able to incorporate this floral sheet with uh, Crafts by Towie's Plant Mom sticker kit. So back to Evergreen. So we looked at the full boxes. We'll move on to her second page. So I really love when she uses the floral pattern for the headers. It's just a great way to break up the page if and if you don't want to use a solid color header with these bows, this is a great option. So you do have your headers and then your small bow checklist, your Monday through Sunday box over here, habit trackers, and some cute deco pieces that are smaller. Again, we have that list that I love, the typewriter, these lanterns are adorable, this little floral bouquet down here. I love these cute little foiled designs. These aren't kiss cut, but I would like to try to cut these out myself and use them because they are so super duper cute. And then here is her boxes page. She has all different shapes and sizes and styles of boxes. Um, so she has her long flags up here and her short flags. She has cute teeny tiny little washi strips. I think that's new to her shop. These little icons here, um, oftentimes she will use a matching floral pattern, you know, from the rest of the kit to decorate her icons with. And I really love it when she does that. I think it's so cute. I enjoy how her large boxes, she has these simple boxes here. I like when she has just little elements of florals in her large boxes so that I don't feel like I have to decorate these boxes myself. It's already decorated for me, but there's enough space in the boxes, enough white space that I can still write things in. And then here is the bottom washi page. Definitely my favorite page. Um, for me, uh, the style of bottom washi will make or break a kit for me. If I love the whole kit, but I don't like the bottom washi, I won't buy it because bottom washi is so important to me. Um, but if there's a kit that I'm not so sure about, but then I see the bottom washi and I think it's just so beautiful and gorgeously designed, I will probably go ahead and buy that kit. So this bottom washi is unique because there's a, like a texture pattern in the background, which I've never seen before. So it's just, you know, it's a small thing sometimes <laughs> that makes things so interesting and cool and different. So I've never seen her do that before and I really, really like this pattern textured background behind these florals. Also something that is super cool and something new that she is doing is she has now kiss cut the date covers. They used to be just squares, um, but now she has them kiss cut. So that will be fun to play with, uh, fun to decorate with and be creative with. I've never used a kiss cut date cover before, so that'll be interesting. So I'm gonna move on to the add-ons. Actually, I don't know if this is an add-on or if it's just generally part of the kit. Um, I always like to purchase all the add-ons available with kits uh, because I like to have as much deco as I possibly can when I uh, decorate my spreads. So these are just some more icons that she used throughout her spread. We have the, the list and the lanterns again, this gorgeous lunar moth, the cute outfit, the typewriter, um, stack of books, of course. These teacups are so super cute and also this jar of honey. I'm a, I'm a honey addict. I like, you know, doing the honey tastings and I like buying and sampling all the different flavors of honey. So I just think that is so cute. I love it and I can't, I don't know what I will use it for, but I can't wait to use it anyway. Okay, so I already showed you this, but this is the, the floral deco sheet. And I did buy two of them because as I mentioned before, I like having all of the florals that I possibly can. 
and Tulip Bees floral sheets are really, really good. First of all, because they are a large sheet. A lot of shops uh, only offer the florals in a smaller sheet like this, but Tulip Bees knows how it's done. She knows the trends and she knows that decorating with lots and lots of florals is very trendy right now. So it's awesome that she offers an entire sheet filled with different floral bouquets, elements, circles. She has a circle that's filled in with a color and then a circle up here that is just white, this rectangle. Um, yeah, there's all different types of bouquets that you can use so that keeps it interesting and, uh, you know, different variety so it's not all samey samey within your spread. So there is that. And then lastly, we have her functional add-on sheet. Um, I absolutely love Tula B's functional sheets. First of all, because she always puts in this teeny, tiny, adorable <laughs> sticker sheet, like a little baby sticker sheet on the sticker sheet. And she's the only one I've ever seen do this. And when I first saw, <laughs> When I first saw that she did this, I just like, again, squealed with delight because I thought it was so incredibly cute that she did that and it's creative and I just thought it was, it was so cute and great. So it brings a smile to my face every time I see this little sticker sheet in her sticker kits. So another new thing that she's been doing lately is she is providing these floral trims for you. So before, if you wanted to decorate the tops of your date covers or um, your boxes or something like that, you would actually have to cut a floral bouquet in half yourself. But now she has done that for you and she offers, um, seven, so you have exactly enough for each day of the week. And so I really, really appreciate that she does that. It makes life so much easier. And that way you don't have to cut up your beautiful uh, bouquets on your deco sheet. You can just use these. Okay, so that is it for the Evergreen Kit. So next I want to show you these new journaling sheets that she has been doing. Um, it's now become a trend in sticker shops to start offering these sheet, these sticker sheets that are more styled and designed, not so much for planning, like vertical planning, but more for, say, scrapbooking, um, bullet journaling, junk journaling, whatever you like. Um, these sheets are more styled for that, which is, I think, really cool and creative. Um, it's another way that Two Little Bees has been starting trends because I could definitely, definitely be wrong about this, but just from the shops that I follow and shop from, um, Tula Bees is the first one who has really come out with something like this. So I just think it's really cool how she's trying to think outside of the box and trying out new things and constantly, you know, updating her kits and her formats. And yes, I absolutely love how she is doing things like this. So this sheet is just all washi strips, all of these different floral patterns that match her evergreen kits. And then this sheet has some more of the book washi. Uh, then we have some little washi strips here, some more of the icons, these little scripts up here, which are um, really cute. And it's really cute how they match the theme of this particular uh, book themed kit. So that's it for Evergreen. Next, I want to look at Tis the Season. I really liked this kit because it's pretty traditional Christmas with some pink, pink added to it. So it's traditional Christmas colors in terms of the reds and whites and greens and then golds. And then um, it has pink, <laughs> which pink is my favorite color, so that is fine with me. So let's look at these boxes a little closer. This music sheet um, is a really nice, cute touch. I love these string lights here in the doorway. This North Pole stamp is super adorable. It's un pretty unique. 
I haven't seen a stamp like this on other kits before, I don't think. And so this stamp here is another good example of how good quality these kits are. So the, uh, if you probably can't tell very well here, but the lines are very, very, very thin and tiny. And there are zero mistakes, zero splotches. Uh, the foiling is absolutely perfect. There's no black spots, anything like that. So this is definitely a very good uh, quality marble. <laughs> My cat Marple is chewing on plastic. Sorry about that. Um, so anyways, yes, very, very good quality and very difficult to pull off. So good job, Maria. This uh, fire in the fireplace is fully foiled, which I think is so incredibly cute. And then the this joy ornament here. I mean, this joy, the word joy, in the word joy, <laughs> the, um, the, the O is actually an ornament. And I thought that was so incredibly cute. Um, I didn't notice it at first and then I just freaked out when I finally noticed it because it's just so cute. And it's, you know, the twigs are inside the, or, or leaf twigs or whatever, inside of the ornament. I just thought it was really sweet. So these are the full boxes. And then next we have our header page. So uh, this is another kit where she used a floral deco for the headers. And again, I really appreciate that. This is pretty much the same format as the last kit I showed you. This habit trapper here, I really, really like how it has that plaid pattern. Makes it really, really cute. Next we have our boxes page. This is another kit where she uses the matching florals to decorate the icons, which I love. Again, she has the simple boxes with just a little touch of florals. And the bottom washi page again. This kit also has the date covers as Kiss Cut. And then this bottom washi um, also has that textured pattern that I thought was super cool in the evergreen kit. And these are just her, uh, the two little bees, uh, iconic bows that she likes to use. Very pretty. So that's the kit. I'm gonna move on to the add-ons. So we have our little sticker sheet with the clip art. And then we have our functionals page, the sticker sheet that I absolutely love. This one also comes with the trims. Labels down here, the scallops. Some people like to just cut off these scallops and um, not use the white part in the label. So that's very nice. And then of course I got two floral deco sheets a good variety of different types of florals. I like how this one has these, uh, like the corner, corner stickers here. That's new, I think it's new. This wreath is really, really beautiful. And the watercolor text texture uh, background in this arch is really, really beautiful as well. Um, I did mention that I like to watercolor, so seeing things like this makes me really happy and excited because it's just so beautiful. Okay, and so that is it for the Tis the Season kit. And then the last thing I have from Two Little Bees that I can show you is this Christmas bucket list. I just thought this was so cute. The designs are unique and adorable. They're intricate. This one in particular is very intricate with the snowflake. And then the nice, you know, pattern inside of the planner. This hanging wreath over the fireplace is very intricate. Um, this gingerbread house is so beautiful. So yeah, this is her Christmas bucket list. And I had to buy it. I thought it was super 
duper cute. I probably won't do a lot of these things, but that's okay. Let's take a look at what she has. So we have make ornaments. Build a gingerbread house. Snuggle up by the fireplace. I won't be able to that be to do that because I don't have a fireplace, but maybe next year. Set up planner, bake cookies, mail Christmas cards. I love that stack of cards. Drink hot cocoa, already done that. Wrap presents, already done that. Wear Christmas socks. I do that pretty much all throughout the year anyway. Uh, decorate the tree, of course. Buy a Christmas tree. We won't be doing that because we have cats and we don't want the cats to chew on the pine leaves. So we just use a fake tree and they don't like to chew on that. Another wrap presents, male gifts, super cute, and hang wreath. There you have it. That's it for two little bees. Okay, so let's move on to Paper Muse Crafts. I kept the packaging for this because I wanted to show it to you. I just thought this package was so cute. I love the design of this sticker. It's rose gold with these really cute snowflakes. It's nice and tiny and compact. And um, I just thought it was so incredibly adorable and sweet when I uh, pulled this package out of the, little package out of the envelope. And then on this side is this cute little, I think it's washi. Um, that says thank you, thank you so much. So yeah, I just wanted to keep this and I'll probably keep this for like my scrapbook or something. Um, and But yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys. So this was a $2 Tuesday. This is her, um, I'm assuming winter themed freebie. I, this is the first time I've ordered icons from Paper Muse Crafts. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that her freebies change for the season. So this is it in rose gold. Um, this sweater is by far my favorite sticker on this sheet. I mentioned before that I like to knit, so anything that is like a knit pattern or something like that, um, I'm always drawn to. We have a super cute snowman over here, a beautiful fireplace. The scarf is adorable and these stockings, so cute. So. This is a great little freebie. Okay, so here we have a sampler sheet. I got these in gold, light gold, silver, and rose gold. So when a shop offers um, a regular gold and a light gold, I definitely like to buy both of them. So I'll, I'll compare the light gold and traditional gold. You can kind of see a difference here on camera. This gold is just a bit more yellow and bold. And then the light gold is kind of more of like a champagne-y color. So that's the difference. And I like to buy both because um, I have kits in both regular gold and light gold. So it just made sense to me. Her silver is a traditional silver. Most silvers are the same. And then um, a traditional rose gold. Okay, so next I have the stack of books. I mentioned before that I do love to read, so I really liked this particular book design because it is simple but also bold. Um, the way the books, the covers of the books are totally filled in with foil uh, is really nice and just a bold book design. Um, it'll definitely add some shine to my spread and um, yeah, I just love foil and I love having a lot of foil in my spreads. All right, and then um, this was a small order. So uh, the last sheet I have here are these laptop icons. Um, I really just love this laptop icon in particular because it's a MacBook. It's a nice, simple design. It's exactly what my MacBook looks like. And it's just, it's pretty minim minimalist in Sometimes I just like a minimal sticker is very beautiful in its simple design and I appreciate that. So here's all four of the foil colors. And that is it for Paper Muse Crafts. Okay, so here we have the Sticky Station. This is the first order I have ever gotten from the Sticky Station. It was a new shop to me when I ordered. Um, I received two freebies, one foiled, a, a nice silver foil. I don't know if there's different foil colors that she offers, um, but I really like this one. Very simple uh, designs for the icons. Um, I really, really love this dishwasher icon. 
Um, yes, she, this dishwasher doodle icon is really, really cute and I really, really love it. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty basic icons. I'm not a huge fan of the retro TV. I prefer a more modern style of TV. Um, the groceries are really nice. I really uh, adore how there's a little heart, how there's a little heart on each icon. That's <laughs> Viking, are you in the camera? Stop it. Come on. Uh, so I thought that was super cute. And then this is her non-foiled. It says a treat yourself sampler. I love this girl in the bathtub with the clawed feet that's so luxurious and fancy. Um, washing the hair, really, really cute. This kit is called Peace. I did place this order quite a while ago, so um, it was kind of a surprise to me when I finally opened the package to see what I ordered because I didn't actually remember ordering any of these. So this looks like a nice summer kit to me. It's got these nice bright summery florals in the yellows and pastels this cute summery dress here, a nice picnic. I love the quotes that these have, live in the moment, peace comes within, peace comes from within, very true. And I think those are things that we should always keep in mind for ourselves. So here's a little deco sheet. So this, this is the size deco sheet that a lot of shops offer when they don't offer a full size deco sheet. So if I could go back in time, I would have ordered more than one of these sheets, but I think I was new to memory planning back then and didn't realize how much I loved florals and how much I enjoyed using florals in my spread. So I only have this one floral sheet, but it'll still be fun to be creative and you know figure out how to use florals minimally. Or another thing I could do is look through other <laughs> other shops to see if they have deco sheets that match these florals. That's another option. Okay, so here's our headers page. Yeah, this is not a style that I would buy now, especially for things like these to do and today headers. That is not something I would use in my memory planner. I would use these in my functional planner, but with that said, there's only four to do headers and two today headers, and I like to use one to do and one today for each day of the week. So I need seven of each. So I wouldn't be able to use that um, or use this functionally, but it is really pretty. I really like these headers down here with the bows and the little dots all around. So this is their boxes page, really pretty. Everything is foiled. I like it when everything is foiled. Oh, except for that one, that's one not. This, these two are not foiled, but everything else is foiled. So um, these boxes are super cute with the same headers and the same bows and dots going across the top of the box. Uh, this is probably my favorite box because it has these cute florals down here, but also just a little hint of sparklies. These have some more sparklies down here. And then these simple boxes with just a nice basic minimal bow. I love that so much. It's so clean and classic. And then this is the bottom washi page. This is beautiful. I really love this bottom washi. Very, very beautiful. It's heavily foiled, which I like because as I said, I like foil. I like things to be nice and sparkly and shiny in my spread. So the floral, florals are absolutely beautiful. And then the way that the way that the dots are speckled on top, I really like. And then just a nice, simple bow washi to go above it. Here's her date cover, or their date covers. Um, really cute. They have these little cute bows at the end of each word. And these little heart uh, design headers, I enjoy as well. So that is it for the piece kit. Next we have Faith Garden. So. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I'm not quite sure why I bought this kit. Um, I mean, it's pretty, it's definitely pretty, but I don't know, I don't know. I guess it's because I was, again, new to ordering kits and didn't really know what my personal style was yet. I can't tell if this is a church or a museum. It would make sense if it were a church because it's called Have Faith, but, or Faith, Faith Garden, but who knows? It's, this box here seems kind of wedding-y to me. Um, my cats are fighting. Um, but I got, I mean, I got married 
I've been married for years now, so I don't know why I would feel the need to buy a wedding kit, but regardless, it's really, really pretty. Um, the florals are beautiful. The way that this, these floral, I mean, these foiled um, speckles here are just kind of falling down, that's really nice. Nice and sparkly. So this is a different format from the kit that we just looked at, but it basically has the same things, except now it has these icons down there. Those are cute. You know, we have our flags, some hexagons, um, triangles, just normal things. Okay, this is our boxes page, really pretty. I think this box here with the birds, the foiled birds, and then the clouds are so cute. I love that. Um, the, the way that the boxes are decorated with these florals and then the foil on top is really pretty. I do like that very much. There's still enough space in the box to write down whatever you want. This Monday through Friday sticker is, uh, I mean, <laughs> Monday through Sunday sticker is really, really beautiful. Really gorgeous. I love the florals in the background and then um, the foiled dots here in the corner. That is so pretty. It looked beautiful on your sidebar. Here's some simple bow boxes. I honestly don't know what you would use that for. It's just a half, a plain white half box with a bow in the middle. So I don't know uh, how it, you would want to use that, but you know, it's there. These habit trackers are super pretty the way that it has foil on it. That's really nice. So here's our deco sheet. This is another one where I would probably um, have ordered more than one. These foils are really, really pretty. It is a nice crisp design, very detailed, a good variety in the different types of flowers and leaves and branches. So it's definitely a good floral deco and I do wish I had ordered more. And then, so looking at this bottom washi now, I think this is why I ordered the kit because I think this bottom washi is, is absolutely beautiful. The florals uh, with the white background, the, it, it just makes the florals really pop. Um, and then these foil dots going on top, I absolutely love. This simple bow washi on top and then Okay, so the very last shop in this haul is White Deer Stationery. So originally, I didn't think that I would like the White Deer Stationery icons because I didn't think I would like icons that weren't foiled, but the more that I saw them in other people's sticker hauls and the more I saw the fun different ways that people use them and their spreads, the more I began to actually like them. And um, so finally I put in an order and <laughs> now I'm completely obsessed with these icons and I want all of them. So um, something that is really cool about this shop is that all of these um, icons are hand drawn by the shop owner. She's continuously putting out new designs. Um, I think that her artwork is really unique and super cute and this is a really nice paper. It is very soft and very smooth. Um, there's no dust and you can't really feel the cut lines. So it's just really, really nice and buttery. The print quality is really nice. So overall, everything is good quality. So this looks like the fall themed freebie uh, because we have this cute little pumpkin down there and then a pumpkin spice latte. Uh, since this is the first order I've made, I don't know how different this is from other freebies. So I can't really speak to that, but all of these icons are, of course, super cute. We have a hairbrush, a planner, fry pan, pajamas, a light bulb, tablet, calculator, and then the pumpkin and pumpkin spice latte. And then this freebie is 
Uh, it's a stick sticker sampler that you get when you spend over $75 on your order. And I really, really love this. This one is definitely my favorite icon because as I've mentioned throughout this video, I am a knitter. <laughs> and this is just so incredibly adorable. I mean, the, the knit stitch, the shape of the, you know, blanket or whatever is being knitted. You can even see the little stitches on the needle. It's just great. Um, really cute, really realistic. It's kind of crumpled down there at the bottom. I, I just really love it. Um, and then we have a little teacup, a shopping basket, a pen, measuring spoons, muffin, cereal, these dirty dishes. I love these so much. Uh, another fry pan, backpack, phone, some sort of fruity drink, work scripts, utensils, a cute little package, and then a calendar. So these are all um, things that you use in your everyday life. So I will definitely be using these. Um, probably not the backpack and probably not this drink, but you know, everything else pretty much applies to my life. So this is definitely a good sampler that uh, lots of people will be able to use all the stickers on. Okay, so on to the main show. I'm gonna start off with the more fall themed sticker sheets that I got. Um, this is the Heirloom Pumpkin Flat Lay. And it comes in just a white uh, color and then these uh, multicolor. And these are so incredibly cute. <laughs> I like, I got so happy when I saw these in the shop. I, first of all, I love pumpkins. Pumpkins are one of my most favorite things in the world. Anything that smells like a pumpkin spice or is flavored pumpkin spice, I love it. I love decorating my house with pumpkins. So I am a huge pumpkin fan. I love white pumpkins in particular. I think they're just really cool and really, really pretty and easy to decorate with and easy to put them around the house because mat uh, white matches with anything. So I love that. And then it's really cool how there's these different colors of pumpkin. We have a very light orange, a medium orange, and everything on here is pastel. So it's a dark but pastel orange. And then this blue pumpkin, which I've never seen a blue pumpkin in real life, but Maybe they exist, I don't know. <laughs> but these pumpkins are so incredibly adorable. This design in particular, and this artwork in particular, is so adorable. These pumpkins are just so like fluffy and bubbly. <laughs> and it almost looks like bubbles or like a cloud. I just love the shape of these pumpkins. They are so, so cute. So here's the pumpkins. Next we have Fall Planner. So clearly as you can see what makes this a Fall Planner are the leaves down here in the corner. Um, I love how these planners are pink. Pink is my favorite color so I'm sure maybe some people would have preferred they be in different colors but pink is great with me. Uh, we have a maple leaf and maybe a, is this an oak? leaf and some other type of leaf I'm not sure but yeah these are really adorable and I like how um, these are designed specifically for fall and then of course we have to have our pumpkin spice lattes um, this again comes in different colors so I probably doubt I will use any of these blue pumpkin ones. You never know, maybe I will, but when I think of a pumpkin, I think orange, not blue. So that's fine. There's three rows of the orange pumpkins. This one has like a, it's an orange pumpkin with a very, very light, almost cream colored background. This has a pink background and this is like a, almost like a gray background. So, and the whipped cream on top is so super cute. It looks really fluffy and delicious. And then we have our pumpkin spice donuts. And it's not like I eat donuts all the time, but first of all, these donuts are really adorable. And you can even see some little like spice specks on top of the glaze of the donuts. Super, super cute, nice detail. But me and my husband actually did get a box of pumpkin spice donuts from Krispy Kreme when they were out a few months ago. 
and we finished all 12 dough nuts in two days. <laughs> so it was definitely a fun little thing for us to do. We never eat donuts or anything like that, so it was definitely a very special treat, but I, I saw these um, these donuts in the shop and in the sticker shop, and so I, I immediately knew exactly what I was going to use these donuts for. And then we have this really cute campfire icon. This is great. So it's very realistic, but in a cute doodly artwork sort of way. The way these rocks have their sh kind of shadows on the bottom. And then you can even see, I probably can't show you very well, but you can see the logs. And then the beautiful flames coming out. The shape of the flame is beautiful. The way the flames are colored with the yellow on the outside and then it gets more red coming towards the center. It's just very realistic, but also very artsy and very beautiful and delicate. So now we're moving into the more just normal everyday icons. So these are candle. Um, I don't need to explain why I ordered a candle icon. You'll, you'll see throughout this haul how this is the general colorway that White Deer Stationery uses for their icons. So the top row is generally like a creamy color and then we have a very light blue. And then we have what's almost like a very light purple or light lavender. We have a pink a very, very light gray and a white. And you probably cannot see this here, but the flames on these three little um, candle wicks, the flames are actually yellow. And that's so cute and just a nice little attention to detail that I love. Okay, so we have cooking utensils. I thought these were really adorable the way they're kind of spilling out of the pot. Um, this pot, this white pot down here in particular is exactly what my uh, utensils pot looks like. Um, but yeah, it's just again super cute. I'm gonna probably claim that, or I'm probably gonna describe every sticker in this haul as super cute, so um, get used to it. But yeah, I just love how she really does well with doing shadows where there would be a shadow and things like that. It just makes it seem so much more realistic. So we have our creamy, our light blue, light purple, pink, and white. I think she only uses the gray when there's enough space to have a row for the gray. Otherwise, I think she keeps it out. Okay, dirty dishes. So this is, I think this might be the first dirty dish icon I've ever seen, but it's definitely the only dirty dish icon I've seen that is realistic, but also adorable. <laughs> I mean, usually dirty dishes isn't something that I would like to look at, but these are so cute the way she designed the different types of dishes, like the coffee cup and then a spoon and a bowl and then the cook pot here. And she even put like little globs of something <laughs> on, on the dishes, but it's so cute that it's not gross. So... I absolutely love this. I, I do put, you know, in my planner when I do the dishes and stuff like that. So this is just the perfect sticker to mark that in my planner from now on. So this colorway is slightly different. We do have the cream, the blue, the light purple, the pink, but this looks like, like a neon coral, <laughs> if that makes sense. And um, and then this is actually gray. So a different variety of colors, but I still like them nonetheless. So we have laundry basket, a very cute laundry basket. Yeah, a nice, unique and adorable way to mark when you're doing your laundry. Pet food, this is an adorable pet food bag. Again, very realistic, but still really adorable. It has a little paw in the middle of the bag and then the little crinkles and creases that an actual like paper bag would have. It's adorable, what else can I say? And then you're the same colorway. 
And then to go along with pet food, I got these black cats. Um, I think normally people would use these for Halloween or something, but I have black cats. I have one solid black cat that looks exactly like this. Her name is Marple. And then I have a tuxedo cat named Viking. He is black and white. So um, this, when Marple stretches out after she's been sleeping, this is exactly how she looks. She arches her back and get, takes a really nice long stretch. And so as soon as I saw that sticker, I immediately thought of Marple and absolutely had to put them in my cart right away. And I feel like I probably should have got more than one of these sticker sheets <laughs> because I love having black cats everywhere. So this is my Marpy sheet. Here's a prescription medicine going along with the same colorway as usual. Plant Mister, I thought this was so cute. My Plant Mister looks exactly like this one. Um, but of course, it's nice to have everything in different colors because that way it, you can, it's easier for you to match whatever kit you're using. If, like if you have a kit that's mostly blues, um, it's nice that you have the blue option instead of just like pink for all of them or something like that. So very cute plant mister, treadmill. Um, yeah, I am not great about going downstairs to the gym to get on the treadmill, but I would love to be better at it. So I think this is another situation where I figured if I bought this sticker, then maybe it would inspire me to do the thing just so that I can use this particular sticker in my spread. So there you go. Bubble tea, also known as boba tea. I am obsessed with boba stickers. I don't know why. I don't even drink boba very often at all, but I think it's just the cuteness of the dots at the bottom of the cup that gets me every time. It's, also, it's almost like polka dots. And so every time I see a boba tea icon in a shop, I usually buy it, whether it's foiled or something like this, because it's just such a cute little drink and I always love the design of it. Okay, we have takeout bags. These are all the same colors. There's no difference in Carlo right here. Um, and that's fine with me. This is generally what a takeout bag looks like. So uh, fortunately we do order takeout a lot. Well, especially recently, just because we've been so busy with our daily lives, I haven't, I don't always have time to cook a full meal. So um, we have been eating out more lately, but I do hope to change that in the future. Paint palette. I love, love this paint palette icon. It is perfect the way it is shaped, the cute little um, paintbrush and the way that each little blob is a different color. It just makes it such a beautiful but delicate little design. And I love it so much and I think this will look so cute in my spreads. And next we have design tablets. So I also design stickers on my tablet. Um, so this is a, an icon that I will use very, very often. I should have gotten more, but I can always buy more in the future. Um, so again, the standard colorway and the, the way that she put a bow on the um, on the pin is really, really cute. Mailbox, I absolutely love this mailbox design. It's the cutest mailbox I have ever seen. My mailbox doesn't look like this because I live in an apartment, but these mailboxes are just so adorable. The way this iron work is on the top and bottom and then just the entire design of this mailbox. It's so dainty and delicate and f almost like fancy French or something like that. I don't know. I just thought they're so pretty and so cute and hopefully someday I will have a mailbox that looks like this. Okay, so I have two different planner icons, the, um, the cloud planner and then just a regular planner. I don't have a cloud planner. Um, as you can see, this is a 
a coiled Sadie stickers planner, but um, I do have a huge collection of these Simply Gilded albums that look very similar to a cloud planner, so I definitely think I can use these for that. And then I also don't have a planner that looks like this, but um, some people have planner covers that they use for their coiled planners. And so it's like a leather cover that they put their coiled planners into and it has a snap close like this. So um, I think I might get one someday because they are really nice and pretty and they make your planner look really nice on the shelf and whatnot. Um, and of course the fact that there's a bow on the corner is, it really uh, helped me make my decision to get this. Okay, so um, here is washi tape. So as you already know, I like to collect washi. I already have a foiled version of a washi icon, so I figured I might as well get a non-foiled version as well. Um, I really, really love these three stacks here and this, and then this stack on top, not so much the blue. I don't, well, I do have some blue washi, I guess, but I'm such a pink, white, and gold person um, that this is mostly what my washi looks like. But anyways, uh, very realistic. This is definitely what a stash of, stack of washi looks like. Okay, and then we have a sleep mask. So I think this is her updated sleep mask. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's such a cute mask design, the way the cute little eyelashes and then there's a scalloped, almost like lacy edge to the mask. It just makes it so dainty and romantic and it's just a good way to mark when you're taking a nap or something like that. And then we have beach chair and umbrella. So um, this isn't something I won't use very much, definitely not this year, um, but I did actually manage to go to the beach once this year. So I'll definitely use a couple of these in my memory spreads for this year, but this is a really, really good beach and chair, I mean beach chair and umbrella design. It has a good flow, as Lauren would say. Um, just everything about this sticker is so perfect, the way the umbrella is tilted in order to block the sun from the chair, the little scalloped uh, bottom of the umbrella here, the way it's striped, the little shadow on the seat of the chair. It's just perfect. It's adorable, it's realistic, but also really, really cute. Okay, and this is the very last sticker we have. This is the flower bouquet. So I have not mentioned this, but I am obsessed with flowers. Flowers are my favorite thing in the whole entire world, aside from my kitty cats and my husband um, and pumpkin spice lattes. I absolutely love flowers. I paint flowers. Flowers are pretty much the only thing I like to paint. Uh, you know, flowers and botanicals in general are what I like to paint, but I just love flowers. I love flower bouquets. I love flower gardens, I love potting flowers, I love taking photos of flowers, I love feeling flowers. Um, I love flowers, so this is just such a cute flower bouquet, the detail. I mean, the way that it's in this paper wrapping with the little like you can see how it's tied together and then the cute little stem is poking out from the bottom. It's crinkled, it has these shadows on it, and then the way that every flower bud looks different. It's very realistic that way. They're facing in all different directions. They're different shapes. Obviously these are roses and roses are my favorite flower. And then it's so cute how these little leaves you know, come out. It's very small and delicate and detailed and it's just so incredibly cute and adorable. And so I really love this so much. They come in the perfect colors, so there's no blue or anything like that. Uh, these are the exact colors of flowers that I would buy. We have a creamy color, a very light pink, a darker pink that's a very like cool toned pink, and then a brighter, warmer toned pink. I mean, I'm sorry, this is warm tone and this is a uh, cool tone. And then we have a red rose. So absolutely beautiful. We ended on the perfect sticker sheet for this haul. 
So thank you so much for coming to my haul. <laughs> it was a very long one, I'm sorry, but this was, I think this was about two weeks worth of stickers. So it was a long one. My future ones probably won't be so long. Okay, everyone, so that is it for this haul. Hopefully it wasn't too horribly long. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you have any questions at all. I will be listing all of the shops that I covered today in my description box below. So yeah, thank you so much for coming. Let me know what you think and I will definitely have more of these hauls in the future. I already have three more hauls to film and I will also be filming some plan with these and maybe some sticker book flip throughs and things like that. So keep your eyes out for future content on this channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye!